Hello everyone, my name is Tommy. Welcome back to the Public Health Academy. Today I'll be going over an epidemiology question that was posted on both the Instagram and the YouTube channel. So I read the question out loud and then I work the problem with you all. Few studies have examined the impact of the frequency of discrimination on hypertension risk. The authors assess the cross-sectional associations between frequency of perceived racial and non-racial discrimination and hypertension among 1,110 middle-aged African-American women participating in the 2001 follow-up of the Pitt County study. Among 410 women who were exposed to racial discrimination, only 300 developed hypertension. Lastly, women who are not exposed to non-racial discrimination only 200 develop hypertension. A, fill out the contingency table with the appropriate numbers according to disease status. So here, as you can see, we have this two by two table and we're gonna fill it out together based on the information that's provided. And I have this nice small whiteboard to help with it. So this, of course, is a two by two table that I'm gonna draw out like this. And then over here, we're gonna have it as racial discrimination. Hope you all can see this. And no racial discrimination, okay? And then we're gonna fill out the appropriate numbers. The numbers here, of course, it states that um, only 410 were exposed to racial discrimination. So over here, we have 410. And then of course, um, it states that 300 of those individuals actually develop hypertension. So that's 300. It's good to put hypertension here and no hypertension for the disease status. So we have 410 minus 300. So that should give us 110. And then of course we have 100 and, sorry, 1100 and, 111, 1110. So that's the total down here. So we have to subtract minus 14 and I do that here with you all, one, 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 zero, minus four, one, ten. That gives us 700 for people who didn't face non-discrimination. And then of course, we're going to put it, um, people who are not exposed to non-discrimination, only 200 develop hypertension, so that's 200 here. And then you have 500. So this is our nice two by two table that I drew out and I'm gonna fill it out here for you all. So this is 300, this is 110, this is 200, and then this is 500. Okay, now based on this table, it says calculate the prevalence ratio among women in Pitt County, North Carolina. Well to do this, I'm gonna have a nice eraser. And we have to know the equation for a prevalence ratio. So this of course is second. Prevalence ratio. And that's of course A divided by A plus B over C, C plus D. So we have some important numbers to fill in based on that two by two table. So of course we have the 300 divided by 410, which was the total column. And then we have the C 200 divided by 700. As you all can see, we're gonna put these numbers in, plug and chug. So 300 divided by 4110. 0.731, and then 200 divided by 700. Zero point two eight five, and this should give us 0 0.731 divided by 0 0.285. That's 2.56. And that's the problem worked out on this. And I'll finally type it up for you all too as well. So the equation was prevalence ratio is equal to A divided by A 
plus b divided by c c plus d to be lowercase to be consistent. Then you have 300 here divided by 4, 1, 10 divided by c, 200 divided by 500. And on the board here, we have the same calculations. So we have 0 0.731 divided by 0 0.28, 0 0.285. And that gives us 2.56. All right, the last question asks us, calculate the prevalence odds ratio among women in Pitt County, North Carolina. So erase this board, we will start again. So we have prevalence odds, ratio. And that equation is the cross products from the two by two table that we discussed. So of course, we want to know which one is our A. Okay. So now at this table, our A of course would be 300. That'll be multiplied by 500 divided by 110 times 200. We're gonna do a nice plug and chug. This we did, and then multiply it across. So that of course would be 300 times 500. That's 150,000 right here. And then of course we have our 110 times 200. 2,200, well, 22,000, I apologize. So let's do that. One, five, zero, two, three, one, one. Zero, 6.81. All right, then we're gonna do the same calculations on here for you all to see. So the odds ratio, of course, is the AD divided by BC. And that, of course, will give us equal sign 300 times 500 divided by 110 times 200. And that, of course, will give us the nice numbers 150. Divided by 22,000 equals 6.81. So there you have it for the equation and also the calculations. If you have any questions about how I came up with the equations to remember it and also the odds ratios, please kindly let me know. In a future video, we'll, over, we'll go over some more practice problems that I posted on Instagram. Thank you all for listening and enjoy the rest of your day.